there is a handful of videos out there on how to unlock schematics and the schematics explained inside of Modern Warfare Zombies and I even myself have dabbled in this topic quite a few times on this channel. One thing that I want to go over in today's video is exactly the schematics but in a different way. Explain to you more as to why you probably cannot unlock some of these schematics, how to go about unlocking them and where you can actually really unlock most of these because they are actually locked to, to certain things. Before we get into the video, if you're brand new here, be sure to subscribe as that does really help out the YouTube channel. We're on the road hitting 50,000 subscribers and we're getting closer and closer every single day. Also, one thing I will say is a like will be very much appreciated. These really help out the video itself to spread to more people. So if this video does help you out and you would like for other people to know about it, then definitely be sure to drop a like on it. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now these things can range from the missions inside of the game, which there are three acts as of the time that I'm making this video, and each one of these acts has have two different schematics in each act. On top of this, each tier of the map, that is tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3, have different schematics. So, the first one. In tier 1, you can unlock Brain Rot, Stamina Up, Deadshot, Speed Cola, and lastly, Napalm Burst. As you can see, most of these consist of ammo mods and perks. Moving on to tier 2, you have Juggernaut, Raw Ethereum Crystals, Dead Wire, Shatter Blast, and lastly, PhD flopper and then in tier 3 the hardest part of the map you can unlock the really good stuff that I feel like most of you probably don't have the first one is the Raygun schematic then it's the epic ether tool schematic refined ether crystal tombstone and lastly elemental pop moving on to the mission side of things as I mentioned each act has two different schematics inside of them the basic idea is when you spawn into the mission it does tell you what to do but you usually end up exfilling with the specific schematic so the first one and on common ether tool is unlocked in act one the mission is saboteur then you have quick revive in act one chaperone then cryo freeze in act two safe cracker rare ether tool in act two exterminator death perception in act three two factory authentication and lastly the wunderwaffe which is unlocked on the second last mission of act three called holdout so this is the only schematics that you can unlock in the mission so if these are the schematics you're hunting well that's an easy answer unfortunately you just have to complete the missions themselves one thing i will say is we do have a discord server link down in the description where you will be able to find people who are out there looking to help each other out with not only the acts missions also specifically hunting for the schematics in the other regions and i feel like if you join up with people you will definitely have an easier time as you can all multitask and kind of complete them far easier than solo but obviously you can do some of these solo now moving on to why you probably cannot unlock them the hard truth is it is all extremely rng based so apart from the mission ones everything else is down to your luck which sucks it really does personally i have built up three days 17 hours and 52 minutes on this game ever since its release and on top of this i have completed 373 contracts inside of modern warfare zombies which is the only way you can unlock the schematics outside of the acts and the missions so you can see even though i've been grinding for so long the crazy thing is i don't even have all of the schematics unlocked inside of modern warfare zombies the schematics that I'm missing are actually mostly tier 3 like the epic ether tool, refined ethereum crystal, elemental pop and lastly dead wire ammo mod which you can find inside of tier 2 and I grind tier 2 like crazy and only recently I found the shatter blast ammo mod so it was probably like my 370th contract that I completed that I unlocked this specific ammo mod. There are people out there that have grinded over 500 of these contracts and have only now unlocked some of these so you can see it is insane insanely based on luck what you get. I have completed countless contracts in tier 1 and I've gotten them all. I've completed countless contracts in tier 2 and I've still yet to unlock one and I've completed a ridiculous amount of contracts inside of tier 3 and as crazy as it sounds I just keep getting that Raygun schematic. One thing that I do recommend for you to do is if you find a schematic that you perhaps haven't found yet or have found but it was your second time finding it after grinding forever. One thing that I like to do per se with the Raygun schematic is look around and give it to other players. It's something nice to do even though let's say that other player might already have it, it's still nice to suggest the idea of hey do you have this schematic? Do you want it? I don't need it. Why carry it around? I think it's a really nice thing to do. So I really recommend for you to do that even if you have all the schematics unlocked. Now 
what is the best contract to complete? Well, I feel like all of the contracts are really good. Personally, I really enjoy completing the cargo mission, but one thing I've noticed with people with the cargo mission is one of the most popular complaints is, well, that's just a driving simulator. I don't think you should be limited to what you do if it's in the game and if it's super easy and super fast i think you should do it i don't think you should limit to yourself because it's not a zombies experience i think driving around and doing missions really fast will be way more beneficial than having to i don't know run around and shoot a bunch of humans around the place on top of this it doesn't matter what contract you complete so even if you like to complete the contract of transporting the cargo maybe even transporting the tank with the rocket or maybe even just taking down bounties they're all good and they will be gifting you with the schematics that you need but most of the time it is just down to luck you can get green ether tools inside of tier 3 you can get the ray gun weapon case inside of tier 1 i have heard that multiple times but it is just rng based if you're planning to go inside of tier 3 the best one to complete is the cargo mission but you can complete other missions inside of it just as easily for example the bounty one that one can actually be completed fairly easily if you just run around with a very powerful weapon these powerful weapons are like the tier pistol obviously the wonder weapons the crossbow with perhaps the blastomatic attachment or the thermite one or the rgl grenade launcher and at the end of the day any weapon that is triple pack a punched and gold or purple rarity will make your life easy even running around with fists is just as good but at the end of the day it is all luck based that's what i wanted this video to concentrate on even though i told you where to find these things if you are by any chance struggling to find them it is heavily heavily rng based you could be one of the luckiest people and have all the schematics unlocked you can be one of the most unluckiest people and it will take you days upon days to find that last schematic and one thing i will tell you is if you run into this issue just take a break Maybe concentrate on camels, maybe just take a break from Modern Warfare Zombies, play some multiplayer, or hop onto something else and come back because you will get that schematic. It's just going to take you some time. And again, remember, there are specific schematics locked away to specific missions. Here they are on your screen right now, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, and the missions. This is where you can actually find these specific schematics anyway ladies and gentlemen that's going to be it for the video i just wanted to briefly go over it i've covered this topic a few times but i just wanted to go over it again and i probably will cover it multiple times because it's something that is constantly evolving and we're learning more and more things and something that i haven't covered before is just don't worry you will get it take your time and good luck anyways ladies and gentlemen if you're brand new here be sure to subscribe we're on the rotating 50 000 subscribers and we're getting closer and closer every single day also, a like would be very much appreciated as that does help out the video. And anyway, good luck. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.